In this video we share prophecy of Mystic Maria Voltorta on the chastisements. Mystic Maria Voltorta, she whose work published in a book titled Poem of the Man God Saint Padre Pio had endorsed. I am sharing the following message to stress how our sins bring tribulations upon us. On June 12, 1953, the Holy Spirit told Voltorta. On this same feast, of the Sacred Heart, three years ago, when the war in Korea was about to break out, I already said how strongly disturbed and troubled is the divine justice toward all of humanity for its way of acting. And I announced to you, Maria, that because of this, terrible chastisements would have descended upon the earth. The facts, floods, cyclones, hurricanes, earthquakes with victims and disasters everywhere, have confirmed my statement. But today I repeat to you that divine justice is at the limit of its tolerance. Do not blame what is happening on anything else but the piling up of sins of every kind being committed always more on earth. They are horrible sins against the faith, the church, good morals, unnameable vices, compared to which adultery is still a small thing, hatred and desire of death against the church and the priesthood, crimes, sacrileges in actions and words, and I could continue endlessly. These things, and nothing else, are the cause of the misfortunes that have happened until now, and also of future misfortunes, always more grievous, which will befall the earth and humanity because of the always more grievous faults committed. From all, the most good draws good things. It is only necessary that man, with his good will, should know how to draw his good from all that God does. How? By not rebelling, and by not estranging himself from his heavenly Father, if his hand is heavy and his chalice bitter. You are sinners. All of you. Even the best are imperfect. Jesus was innocent, holy, perfect. And yet the Father loaded upon him the whole weight of the faults of men, so that it consumed him on Golgotha. And he presented to Jesus the bitterest chalice, more bitter than the bitterness of all that is disgusting, from the abandonment of his father, to the suffering of his mother, from the betrayal of a friend and apostle, to the cowardice of the other apostles, and from the denial of his Cephas, to the ingratitude of the people. Among men, no one has borne nor will bear the burden, nor will drink the chalice which crushed and embittered the Christ, the innocent. Hence, know how to imitate him, in his perfect goodwill, and in his most holy obedience, in order to draw your good from all that God permits to befall you, to test you and to reward you. On April 23, 1943, the morning of Good Friday, Maria began to receive the first of an additional and extraordinary number of dictations, and later visions, from Jesus. She dutifully recorded these in an almost sitting position in bed, in ordinary school notebooks which she supported with a piece of cardboard held on her bent knees. She would write at any time, by day or by night, even when she was exhausted by fatigue or tormenting pains. She wrote effortlessly, naturally and without revision. If interrupted, she could leave off writing and then resume later on with ease. The notebooks written by Maria Voltorta include almost 15,000 pages. Maria died in her room at Via Reggio on 12 October 1961, at 10.35 am. The 65th year of her life. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.